Let's play a trick trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. Let's play a trick trivia time. And we'll feel it all right. Okay, come on, let's play! All right, hello, happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to another night of general knowledge trivia. My name is Ali with Bega Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for joining us. For some trivia before we go any further just in case this is your first time playing i want you to know that here on youtube is where you will hear and see me ask the questions but in order to actually participate you do want to join our online game it's interactive it's very simple you don't have to download anything or sign up for anything you just open up any internet browser you want to use and go to online.bagoftricks.com and then enter in tonight's code which is tricks2 t-r-i-c-k-s to online.begatrix.com. Put in the code TRICKS2 and you'll see a screen that looks a little bit like this on my screen here. It's asking you for three pieces of information. The first is the name you want to go by tonight. That could be your name, team name, nickname, whatever you'd like uh, to be known as in the competition. And then the state that you're playing from, if you're here in the United States or whatever country you happen to be playing along from. And then last but not least, your Begatrix Entertainment loyalty number if you don't have one of those, there is a link in the description of this video to sign up for. It's a free program and we actually award points based on your loyalty numbers. So make sure you join uh, that program if you haven't yet, if you're interested in actually winning some prizes. So once you click on go, you'll see this screen that says the game will begin shortly. And that means you're all set. That means you are in and you're ready to go. Uh, we'll get the game started here in just a couple minutes. I see people joining now. What's up, Bobby K? Uh, Ali G, yes, yes. Hey, Misha, welcome back. Glad to see you on there. Hey, Sarah and John J, welcome, all my friends. Thank you for being here tonight. I will go over exactly how the game is played here in just a couple minutes, but before we do, like I mentioned just a second ago, I want to give people time to join. I want to go over what we have coming up this week for you, and then we'll go over how the game is played. So, once again, thank you so much for being here. Uh, smack dab in the middle of the week, we have general knowledge trivia coming up right now. Thank you to those of you that joined Bobby K for Music Bingo earlier tonight. I was on there. Fantastic music as always, Bobby. Thank you so much. And thank you again for the theme song that you guys just saw here before the beginning of this trivia night. Uh, on Friday, we'll be back with two opportunities to play trivia. At 7 o'clock, it's a trivia fundraiser sponsored by Citizens. For Larry Spaeth, he's an individual running for the McHenry County Board. You can find all the information about that event and about Larry Spaeth on our Facebook page, there's a link. You click that, you go to his website, you can buy a ticket. It's Harry Potter trivia at seven o'clock on Friday. And then at nine o'clock on Friday, we're back for another edition of this general knowledge trivia, questions about anything and everything free to play and always lots of fun. Uh, and then we do have a Saturday event this week at seven o'clock, we're doing a fundraiser for the St. Pius X Parish School out of Lombard, Illinois. Again, all that information is on Facebook. You can find it on their Facebook page, which you can get to by going to our Facebook page and clicking on the link to theirs. Um, with all of that said, thank you guys for continuing to come out to these online events. We really appreciate it. I know Henry on Mondays really appreciates it. Bobby on Wednesdays really appreciates it. And it's just great to see you guys doing something from the safety of your homes, if you're comfortable doing that. If you feel like going out and playing trivia, we do also have a lot of opportunities to do that. I've mentioned this a few times. But we have some bars and restaurants that are hosting trivia pretty regularly now. Um, if you're interested on Mondays, we're at one of the Red Arrow uh, locations, either in Elmhurst or in Naperville. This upcoming Monday, the 21st, will be Harry Potter, Triv Harry Potter Trivia um, in Elmhurst. Uh, but this week, we're on Wednesday. So tomorrow, we have two opportunities to either play trivia or do some music bingo. If you're in the area, you can go to Replay in Lincoln Park in Chicago and play Bob's Burgers trivia at the Bob's Burgers pop-up that they're doing outside. So everything is set up outside. You can, sorry, uh, you can eat, you can drink, and you can play Bob's Burgers trivia. You can also do music bingo in, the beer, uh, in Two Pints in the uh, Bolingbrook Promenade right here in Bolingbrook. 
And then on Saturday, we don't typically do Saturday events, um, but we will be doing this week on the 19th, Cubs Trivia at Replay Lincoln Park. That's at 4 p.m., sponsored by Old Style, so it doesn't get much more Chicago than Cubs Trivia sponsored by Old Style, 4 o'clock at Replay in the city. Um, so with all of that said, let me jump back over here one more time and remind you, if you do want to play trivia, to join the online game, online.bigatrix.com slash tricks2. Oh, I see more people have joined. Hey, Crystal, Jeremy, welcome. Hey, Chris. Kim Wheatley, welcome. Jen Sterna, what's up? I had to pause uh, Friday Night Lights to host trivia just for y'all tonight. Thanks to Jen Sterna. Hey, Matt Whalen, I liked your duet that you posted on Facebook the other day. That was really good. Uh, so thanks for doing that. Please continue to. Really enjoyed that. Brad Silzer probably wondered why I gathered here tonight. Uh, yeah, let us know what your ulterior motive here is, Brad. <laughs> and Stephanie Curtis, welcome. Stephanie, your shelves are done. I made you some wooden shelves. I sent you an email today. Check out for that. Uh, but anyway, back to trivia. All right. I'll be up here now. Uh, but first, here's Taco. So again, last opportunity to remind you, do join online.begatrix.com, enter in the code TRIX2. Once you're in, you're good to go. How it's going to work tonight, we have a mixture of multiple choice questions and then questions where you'll have to actually type the answer in. So however you're playing, whether from your phone or from your computer, it's going to work the same. We're going to start out with multiple choice questions. And how that works is I'll ask you a question, you'll see it on the screen, I'll read it out loud, and then I'll start a 25 second timer. Once that timer begins, you're gonna see four options pop up on the screen. It's always A, B, C, and D. One of those is the correct answer. All you have to do is select the correct answer and you can earn up to 150 points if you're correct. However, that point value starts at 150 and decreases as the timer ticks away. So the quicker you answer, the more points you earn if you're correct, but if you're wrong, you earn nothing. So make sure you're careful because if you click the wrong answer, you can't change it. So don't just click wildly to try and be quick. Make sure you know what you're clicking uh, and you'll be good to go. I won't go into much more detail about it because we'll do a practice question in here uh, in just a second. And the very first question, which I call a practice question, is just that because it's not worth any points. It won't hurt you if you're wrong, but you're also not gaining any points if you're right. It's just there so that people can learn the system. I mentioned earlier we do have prizes, uh, and I guess let me show you those really quick. Uh, this is why I mentioned earlier, if you don't have a Begatrix loyalty program number, do join that program because we give out prizes, we dole out prizes in the form of taco bucks, which you can use after you've earned enough to redeem for prizes, like those you see here, Begatrix merch, like the ornament, the pipe glass, the t-shirt. We also have hoodies, uh, and we'll have hats soon again. There's beer and brewery merchandise, Lagunitas, Alaskan Brewery, uh, Bell's Brewery. We have a lot of fun stuff. And then pop culture merchandise, which we actually have more than you can see here. I'm putting those on the website. But the most coveted of prizes is right there in the middle, the limited edition framed and autographed taco photo with 2,000 taco bucks. Um, so first, second, and third prize tonight uh, will be taco bucks to first, second, and third place finishers. So, uh, let's get it started. Thank you all for being here. Like I mentioned, this very first question is going to be a practice question, so no pressure. Who else is out here? Hey, Jess and John, welcome, welcome. John H., welcome back. All right, here we go. Uh, Brad Silzer, I only want Invigoron. If I'm buying anything, it's going to be Invigoron. Uh, has anybody asked me how big the picture is? It is an 8 by 10 frame print or a 24 by 36? Uh, it's going to be like a, a 12 by 13. It's going to be an odd size, Jen. We're going to make it very unique. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't thought that before. All right, here we go. First question coming up. Once again, this one's just for practice. Learn how the system works. What is the name of your host today? That's me. You probably know, but just in case you don't, let's find out. What is the name of your host today? Once again, it's multiple choice, so one of these answers is correct. Select the one you believe to be correct. Is my name Billy, Tommy, Zach, or Ali? <laughs> Have Domaniac into, yeah, yeah. His rates really went up. 
the maniac. I don't think I could afford him anymore. Perfect size. Yeah, for the 12 by 13 inch hole that's just bare on your wall. Just wait for the photo of Taco. 12 by 13. And did I say inches? I meant centimeters. 12 by 13 centimeters. All right, everybody's in. This is what it looks like. 28 people said my name is Ollie. One person said Zach. Five people each said Billy and Tommy. The correct answer is, of course, Ollie. So if this was worth points and you had said Ollie, you would have earned points based on how quickly you answered. But it wasn't. This one was just for fun. So here we go. Let's dive into the actual questions. Here we go. Multiple choice. Some of these questions are easy. Some of them are tough. And just a quick reminder, the pictures and the gifts that you see associated above or next to the question, depending on your screen, is not meant to be a hint or a tip or a trick. It's not meant to throw you off the trail or, hint or help you. Uh, it's just there for fun, just like this Power Rangers gift. So here we go. Number two, which documentary? What, na what is the name of the documentary that chronicled the 1997-98 season of basketball legend Michael Jordan? and the Chicago Bulls, as well as the rest of their decade, basically. Uh, but what was the name of this huge documentary? Is The Last Hurrah, The Last Dance, The Last Chance, or The Last Game? Lindsey Davis, just in time. Welcome. Still haven't watched this. Chris, no better time than now. No better time than now. If, if if something has to tell you that it's technically not a pyramid scheme, uh, it's not a good idea. They'll probably they'll probably say we've entered the third dimension. We're we're a cone scheme. We're not a pyramid scheme. We're a cone scheme. Uh, but you know, I would just stay away. Thirty eight people said the last dance, which is the correct answer. Good job. Uh, a couple of you went with last chance. It sounds the same. Two people said last game. Last dance was the correct answer. <laughs> Not technically a pyramid scheme, it's a triangle scheme. Uh, all right, number three. Uh, not wanting toys for boys labeled as dolls, Hasbro coined the term action figure when they introduced what toy in the early 1960s? Was it Captain Action, Major Matt Mason, Johnny West, or G.I. Joe? See if we can get a double social here right off the bat. I believe in y'all. I think you could do it. Everybody's in, <laughs> and we do, in fact, have a double social. I think I meant to make this the first question, and I mix it up. Uh, G.I. Joe is correct, so cheers, everybody. Again, we just do a social to celebrate you guys answering the question. You don't have to be drinking alcohol. It could be cheersing with tea, as I also have here. In I don't think I ever showed you guys this mug that Gina got me for my birthday. You know, not that I'm obsessed with Hamilton. Uh, you could be cheersing with tea. You could be cheersing with lemonade anything for the social it's just about celebrating you guys and how smart you are so cheers all right <laughs> yes this is actually a decent amount of vodka chris question number four uh in what classic novel did herman melville write which classic novel uh did herman melville write while living in the berkshire mountains of western massachusetts which of the following four novels did Herman Melville write while living in the Berkshire Mountains of Western Massachusetts? House on the Hill, In the Woods, The Old Man in the Mountain, or Moby Dick? Uh, Becky, you haven't watched it yet either? Yeah, it's good. It's worth the watch, and it's, it's out there now. I think it's on Netflix. Uh, it was a pain before if you didn't have Netflix, or if you didn't have ESPN or uh, YouTube TV. Yeah, Gremlins 2 is always the right answer, Lindsay. You're right. Does this make us all socialists? Yes, Brad. Last question officially made us all socialists. 
Uh, Jess says, fun fact, you can read every other chapter of this book, which is Moby Dick. Good job, 36, if you got this correct. And still pass your final on it. Do you know that from experience, Jess? <laughs> Not even the spark notes, just read every other chapter. All right, we'll do one more, then we'll look at the standings. Question number five. Uh, this one kind of tough. As of 2020, this year, as of this year, the Rungrado First of May Stadium is the world's largest stadium with a seating capacity of just around 150,000 people. In what country is it located? Is it China, South Korea, North Korea, or Brazil? Sarah, not being chatty because my internet's being a butthole yet again. I'm sorry. I feel you. I feel like mine's finally cooperating. So I'm sad that yours isn't. <laughs> Skipped every other chapter about the history of Wales. Uh, so here's a fun one. Seven people said this is located in China. 11 said North Korea. 25 said Brazil, which is a great guess, but the wrong answer, it is North Korea. North Korea, of all places, technically has the largest seating capacity in a stadium. Uh, so it is North Korea. Good job, 11 of you that got that. Uh, with that, let's take a look at the standings. Currently in first is Hasera. Welcome, 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 Hasera. C and D in second. Chatty Angelica Bitch is still up there. Third place. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We'll get into the second round of multiple choice questions here in just a second. Oh, somebody's mom just walked in. Hey, guys. Gina says hi. You wanna lay back down, bud? No, okay. You do you. Oh, good stretch. Yeah. All right, we have another uh, set of multiple choice questions we'll get to. Let me check out this chat. Number 14. All right, everybody's in. Let's go to number six. With the ability to turn people into stone with her gaze, Medusa was actually what type of creature? Medusa was her name, but she was what type of creature? Was it a naga, a basilisk, a gorgon, or a cockatrice? Yeah, Misha, a couple people are saying the video's choppy. I don't know. We have full signal over here. But if it's happening to all of you, that can't be good. YouTube says my stream is healthy. Let me see. I'll deal with this in a second. Uh, let's take a look. It's in a book. Two people said Naga. Nine people said Basilisk. Uh, 32 people said Gorgon. Nobody went with Cacatrice. Uh, the correct answer here is the, she is a Gorgon. A gorgon can turn people to stone with her gaze. Basilisks uh, can kill people with their gaze, uh, as we saw in the Chamber of Secrets. They can petrify people if you see them in a reflection. People have had to reload. All right, uh, once we get through this round, I'll reset some stuff here. Uh, question seven. Ooh, hello, tiny picture. Ray Liotta played the character Shoeless Joe Jackson in which 1989 baseball film? 
Is it the natural? 42. Field of Dreams or Eight Men Out? Oh, somebody's sleeping like a baby already. Da 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 da. All right, everybody is in. Is the gift a clue? No. Uh, Gina loves this movie. Well, Gina's family loves this movie at least. I think you love it too. Thirty-six people correctly said "Field of Dreams." Yeah, yeah, Field of Dreams. All right, moving on. Actually, that's the social. Cheers, everybody. Question eight. This one for Bobby Yacht Rock. Which yacht rocker performed "I'm All Right," the theme song for the 1980 comedy film Caddyshack? Is it George Benson, Christopher Cross, Kenny Loggins, or Michael McDonald? Bobby K, I hear um, Yvonne loves Christopher Cross. I can play some Christopher Cross later. <laughs> All right, everybody's in. Uh, it was not Christopher Cross, and nobody guessed that. Good job. Not George Benson. Michael McDonald. What a guy. I love that guy. Uh, the correct answer, though, is the log man, Kenny Loggins. Do you think people call him the log man? I just call him the log man. No, they probably call him the log jam. <laughs> uh, good job. That's a big old social. 91% of you got that right. Great job. <laughs> All right, number nine, Legoland, Florida. Here you go, Crystal. Legoland, Florida Resort was built on the site of which previously existing Florida theme park? Is it Cobra Adventure Park, Daytona Lagoon, Gatorland, or Cypress Gardens? You just went there. Hey, I'm glad my shout out worked then. Nice. All right, everybody's in. Uh, everything got uh, everything got guesses here. Four people said Cobra Adventure Park. Seven people said Daytona Lagoon. That's just fun to say. Daytona Lagoon. Uh, Ten yeah. people said Gatorland, and twenty-two people said the much less fun to say Cypress Gardens. Uh, but that's the correct answer. Cypress Gardens. So good job, those 22 of you that got there, right? Uh, and then, all right, here we go. Two more multiple choice questions. Number 10, who purchased the World Wrestling Federation, as it was known then, from his father in 1982, and has since gone on to dominate the professional wrestling business? Was it Randy Savage, Paul Michael Levesque, Vince McMahon, or Shane McMahon? Uh, would you say you had no chance in hell, Jeremy y uh, Jeremy W? No chance in hell, maybe? I think I got your reference there. Uh, the correct answer, you all knew this. Enough for a social once again, Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon. Cheers, everybody. All right. One more multiple choice question. Here we go. Number 11, the iconic running of the bulls takes place typically in which Spanish city? The running of the bulls takes place in which Spanish city? Is it Seville, Madrid, Barcelona, or Pamplona? Hmm? 
what is it called? Uh, oh. I didn't know that's what this is about. Well, they wrote it in the book. Got it. The running of the bobs. <laughs> what city do they live in? They definitely huh? bobs burgers. Wonder War. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> It's a trivia question that I asked, but I don't remember. If I ever get bored, look up Vince McMahon singing Stand Back. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, you guys knew this. 35 people correctly said Pamplona. 80% exactly, so we'll call it a social cheers, everybody. All right, that was the final multiple choice question. So we're actually going to do a couple things. Uh, we are going to look at the standings here, and then I'm also going to refresh my internet connection so you guys will see the video cut out for a minute, um, but I'll give you time to look at the standings while I do that. So here we go. C and D in first, Emily in second. This number two shall pass in third place. I love that name. All right, I will be back. Let me refresh this and see if I can help out you guys' connections at all. All right, we should be back. Can you hear me now? Good. <laughs> Becky, Chris B will only watch the running of the Bucks. Well, you weren't here. He said he still doesn't watch Last Dance, the documentary. Uh -huh. He's a Bucks fan, not a Bulls fan. Oh. <laughs> only watch the running of the Bucks. Good. Thanks, John H. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, so we're going to get into the next round of trivia here. So just in case this is your first time, the main difference from this point on is multiple choice questions are gone. From this point on, when I ask you a question, you still have a 25 second timer, but when that timer starts, instead of seeing four options, you'll see a text box and you have to type your answer in. That's it. That's the major difference. That's the only change um, for the most part. The, only, the, the other difference is that from this point on, you're going to earn all of the points if you're correct and none of the points if you're wrong. So what that means is you can take your time, try to spell your answers to the best of your ability so I know what you're trying to type. But also, don't use that time to cheat. No Googling, no searching, no texting, anybody else for answers. Anybody can work with you uh, virtually or in person, but not Google, not Alta Vista, not Ask Jeeves, none of those search sites. Keep it fair, keep it honest so we all have fun. Um, I didn't shout people out earlier, so I just wanted to say thank you uh, a couple people have sent donations today. Specifically, Misha, I saw a donation come through. So thank you so much for that. Uh, if anybody else feels so inclined, those links are down there all night. Venmo, PayPal, and Zelle Quick Pay. Uh, I didn't mention, but those donations that you send to those uh, platforms are what allow us to continue doing these online events for free for you. So um, I know it seems counterintuitive to donate to keep something free, but... That's how it works uh, because these platforms aren't free for us to use. So I just want to say I really appreciate the donations that you guys send more than you know. Uh, so let's get into this next round of trivia. These questions are going to be part of a mini bonus round. So five questions that all come from the same category, but they are unique in themselves. We'll do one at a time. They're worth 250 points apiece. Today, our first mini bonus round, we are talking about cereal. We're talking about cereal. Specifically, I'm going to name a breakfast cereal mascot. I'm going to name a breakfast cereal mascot, and you just have to tell me the cereal that they advertise. So, for example, if the next question said, name the breakfast cereal by its mascot, Toucan Sam, your answer would be Fruit Loops. That's it. It's that simple. Some of these may have a couple answers, but just write any of them, and you'll get points. Again, 250 points if you're correct, nothing if you're wrong. Uh, wait, what? I think I'm looking at the wrong, hold on. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. <laughs> I did a question. No, it's okay. Uh, what am I looking at? What's the date uh, today? Why are we back in question 11? Yeah, because the next question isn't what I expected. Hang on one sec, everybody.
<laughs> oh, I messed up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> welcome. The next round is not breakfast cereal. We'll do that another day because I messed up. So the next round is actually still a mini bonus round. Let me pop up here. Uh, it's still gonna be a mini bonus round. All five questions come from the same category, but tonight we've done one like this before. These are still general knowledge questions, but they all have something in common, and that is they all start, the answers all start with the same letter, okay? Uh, so I'm going to ask you a question, and then you're gonna answer. You're gonna type your answer in. It's not multiple choice, um, but they all start with the same letter. For this round, every correct answer starts with the letter N, as in Nancy, N. Uh, so that's it. That's how this round ties together. Oh, oh, I did a boo-boo. Uh, so here we go. Next question. All these start with N. We'll do one at a time. They're worth 250 points apiece. Uh, number 12, what sugary fluid found in plants is collected by bees to make honey? Type your answer in. No multiple choice. It's, uh, we'll do the letter X eventually, Lindsay. I promise you that. I blame this again on Jen Sterna uh, because I, it's a little bit of an addiction, the Friday Night Lights. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm halfway through season four now. And Gina pointed out today that I'm going to cry. I've already cried a couple times, but when the game's, when the show's over, it's going to be bad. <laughs> Emma's in Mancy, right? Yes, that's what I said. Emma's in Mancy. All right, everybody's in. Uh, so I did say that it starts with N. I just want to point that out. Uh, so it's not chloroplast. It's not pollen. It is nectar. Nectar is the sugary fluid. Necromancer. Tim Riggins is sweet like honey. Uh, but he'll sting you like a bee. All right, question number 13. In Greek mythology, which youth fell in love with his own reflection greek mythology what is the name of the young person who fell in love with his own reflection <laughs> chris <laughs> chloroplast the n is silent that's a tough one to spell Everybody's in. Let's take a look. As long as your spelling is close. <laughs> uh, nephritis, which is inflammation of the kidney tubules. Uh, one of the Kardashians, Perseus, Cupid, Neptune, Nymph. It is Narcissus. This is where we get Narcissus from. Uh, yeah, no worries about the spelling, as long as you were close. As long as you were close. All right, I'm refreshing this screen. Okay, here we go, number 14. The leaf and the kashkai are models of car produced by which Japanese company? The leaf and the kashkai are models of car produced by which Japanese company? Oh, I see what you're saying. Jess, that's not you. You're not crazy. I just clicked the button. I switched over so you could all focus on my face while I was explaining the mistake I made. And I forgot to switch back, which was another mistake. Oh, I thought there was like, I thought you did that. Nope, no reason. Just that's forgot. That's just for Sorry, that. I was going to say something, but then I thought maybe you had said it, and I didn't. Today is the most attention. Monday of Wednesdays I've had in a long time. 
Go back to full screen of the beard. Yeah, just for you, Chris. Uh, everybody's in. So just a reminder, um, I know some of you just don't know these answers and you're taking guesses, uh, but every answer will start with the letter N for this round. Um, so this one, it's not Toyota, Isuzu, Hyundai, or Prius. Uh, it is Nissan. Nissan, the correct answer here. It's such a Monday of a Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sarah, exactly. Oh, yeah, the letter is N, Lindsay. I got you. It's a very. I'm glad you guys agree with the Monday Wednesday statement. Mm -hmm. Ogden Blick, you forgot about the N. You're not alone. I think a few people did. Uh, so now, before we go to the next question, every answer starts with the letter N. Here we go. Number 15. Which ancient Egyptian queen? was married to the pharaoh Akhen, Akhen, what? Akhen, Akhenaten. what? Akhenaten. Jeez, I practiced that before and I still flubbed it up. Akhenaten. Flub. Which ancient Egyptian queen was married to the pharaoh Akhenaten? It's my own personal stream. I can say whatever I want. And I went with flub. I don't know why. And you choose the question. So. Yeah. I'm the one who chose to make myself say Akhenaten. I do practice, Bobby. You practice um, Superstitious <laughs> by Stevie Wonder. Ah. Oh, he's oh, oh, he You knew that was coming, Bobby. All right, everybody's in. This is one of those questions that uh, if we hadn't focused on the fact that they all have to start with N, this probably would have been a lot tougher. Some of you, I like some of these guesses. No freaking idea. Mm, Smash Williams, the N is silent. Nairobi, no, it is Nefertiti. Nefertiti. All right, one final question in this lovable round. Uh, which country moved its capital from Lagos to Abuja in 1991? Looking for the name of a country. Its, ca its capital used to be Lagos. In 1991, its capital was moved to Abuja. What is the country? Lindsay, I like that answer. Yeah, the Smash Williams answer was good. We get 100% social. The chat is demanding short drum solo or at least a rim shot. Gina's done the rim shot for us before. We can get her on the on the kit back there again. I've done the drum roll. Oh, you did, you're right. You're right. You did a drum roll. Uh, everybody's in. The correct answer here, that's close enough, uh, is Nigeria. Nigeria. Formally request a heads up for geography questions. Uh, Gina posted, we've been watching um, Broad City. We started, Gina's seen it like nine times, but I started watching it for the first time and they have the, the geography shower curtain map. They do have the shower curtain map. All right. Uh, that's it for this round. So let's take a look at the standings. Currently in first is C and D. Second is this number two shall pass. And third is the chatty Angelica bitches. Great job. All right, take a look. I'm going to try to figure something out really quick. Everybody's in. So now we're going to do our next 
mini bonus round, which is a picture round, which let me look. Uh -oh. oh, yeah, me too. Hold on, it should be back. All right, we should be back. Sorry, again, frozen. Uh, this is a picture round. I'm just gonna dive right into it. Lindsay, I did double check before I got excited, but trust me, you'll all be excited by the very first one that we do. Uh, this picture round is name the actor or actress. Specifically, this picture round is name the actor or actress from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Name the actor or actress from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm going to show you an actor or actress um, from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and I just want you to name the actor or actress, not their character. Um, so as I mentioned, I made this round before recent events have risen to the top of Twitter. Uh, here we go. Name this actor or actress from the MCU. Who are we looking at? Who this? Uh, I might have chosen a different picture, but I'm going to go with this one. <laughs> Brad, no Twitter pick, no care. <laughs> oh, no. Absolutely no idea, somebody said. Somebody just went with Chris. Not, not good enough for this round. Uh, I like this answer. Chris Evans, the future Mr. Lindsay Davis. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like that. Uh, that's getting points, obviously. Uh, this is not Chris Pratt. This is one of the other 96 actors who are named Chris. It is Chris Evans. Chris <laughs> Evans. Yeah, Jess, it's not a good situation. It. He obviously did not intend for it to happen, um, and he handled yeah. it very, very well. You know, Now that I have your attention, vote. I know. How, I can't imagine how that would feel. Yeah. What a man. Ooh, nice, nice shirt, Lindsay. Rogers and Stark and Odinson and Barton and Banner and Romanoff. I like it. All right, here we go. Name the MCU actor or actress. Who are we looking at? First and last name. Who are we looking at? Everybody's in. Uh, so the top answer was Jeremy Renner. The second answer I just want to point out was Pickle Face. <laughs> Pickle Face. Uh, yeah, the correct answer is Jeremy Renner. Good job. It's not Paul Bettany, uh, Daniel Craig. Uh, Clint Barton is the name of Hawkeye, who he portrays. So good job. All right, here we go. Number 19. Name this actor or actress from the MCU. Yeah, Chris Pratt's going to be the new... Uh, what were people sticking with yesterday or Monday? Or were you here for that? Probably not. I haven't been no. that pretty much. No. Yeah, everybody... Sometimes people just latch on to answers and stick with them all the way through. <laughs> even if they're wrong. Oh, there was one... Um, yeah, I don't remember. There was a couple good ones. Yeah, Airbud. Airbud was one before. There was a good one on Monday. Uh, okay, let's see. This one. Never seen any of these movies. Oh, are you in for a treat? Just get your Disney Plus subscription, six ninety nine, and you basically have every single MCU movie. Oh, you guys couldn't see that. Yeah, somebody said never seen any of these movies. Uh, it's not Tom Hiddleston. That is a different MCU actor. It's not. It's not a Chris. It's not one of the Chris. It's not Tobey Maguire. He used to be Spider Man. This is Tom Holland. Tom Holland. That's a crispy social. Cheers to the crispy social. Cheers. 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 Oh, that's okay, Lindsay. We've all done it. All right, here we go. Two more. Name this 
actor or actress from the MCU. Who are we looking at? Everybody's in. This one is not Scarlett Johansson, the superior Olsen, yes. Uh, Kate Beckinsale, not Emily. This is Elizabeth Olsen. You have Mary Kate, you have Ashley, and then you have Elizabeth. You have Elizabeth. Yeah, I think she's probably the, the superior Olsen at this point. Uh, 21, this is the final one in this mini bonus round. Name the actor, actress. In the MCU, who are we looking at here? What is their name? T.I.L. Elizabeth Olsen. Yeah, she has a pretty big role now. Scarlet Witch. Uh, a big role in the Infinity Wars. That's the only downside of this mug is as if I don't already sing this song enough. Every time I use it, I start singing the song. Ah, this is not Uma Thurman. It's not Karen Gillan. She was uh, this person's adopted sister. Uh, this is Zoe Saldana. Zoe Saldana. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the internet. I've done everything on my end that I can. I refreshed everything. I reset it. Um, short of pulling my modem, which I can't do in the middle of it. Because then we might as well call it. Um, but I'll do that before the next game, too, and see if that helps at all. All right, let's take a look at the standings. This number two shall pass in first. Cookies and cream in second. Negative taco bucks in third. Stay sexy, don't get murdered in fourth. Nice call back there. Too much beard hair in the computer. Bobby K, that's very possible. That could be happening. <laughs> all right we're gonna dive into this next and final round these are 10 random general knowledge questions the answers have nothing to do with each other they are not part of a mini bonus round they're worth 300 points apiece. you do have to type your answers in you have 25 seconds to do so for each question so here we go question number 22 the parietal bone is located in which part of the human body the parietal bone is located in which part of the human body? Oh, I like that there's multiple me's. Your laptop Ollie is wonky. That's what most people say. But our fire stick Ollie is A-OK. -okay. Well, that's nice to hear. <laughs> Consolation prizes for having to refresh the YouTube screen. Yeah, I'm going to give you 0 .01 taco bucks every time you have to refresh point oh one. yeah 0.01 taco like buck that. every time you have to when you hit 100 you let me know i'll give you a taco buck a katniss scent yes becky a katniss scent point oh one taco bucks and there's penelope nichols are in there too parker dimes it's perfect uh, everybody's in. It's not the wrist, the arm, the pelvis, the foot, the neck, the legs, the hand. It is the head or the skull or the, the head. Skull. 69% of crispy social. Cheers, everybody. Uh, speaking of, so I'm looking at this GIF 
And I just want to remind you all that in October, we have a, a bunch of fun stuff coming up. We're going to continue these general knowledge trivia nights, but we are going to throw in some theme nights like we were doing. Um, and it's going to be all Halloween horror movie related. So I think, I think what we've narrowed it down to is we're going to do a horror movie trivia. We're going to do a Stranger Things trivia. Uh, what was the other one I said? I don't remember. But we are going to do Ollie's Not So Spooky Halloween Trivia. Somebody said that just maybe yesterday. So yeah, Ollie's Not So Spooky Halloween Trivia. We'll do that one online. Family friendly. All sorts of fun stuff. Um, but what did I... Oh, oh, Stephen King. We're going to do... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Horror movies. We're going to do Stranger Things. We're going to do Stephen King films and books. And we're going to do Ollie's Not So Scary uh, Halloween Trivia. So lots of fun stuff coming up in October. And I'll get that entire list out so you guys can plan on those dates. It'll probably be on Fridays. Um, we'll figure it out. Maybe not the, the Ollie's not so scary, not so late at night. Uh, question 23, ratified on December 5th, 1933, which amendment to the U.S. Constitution ended prohibition? <laughs> Colin, thank you for the donation. We'll get you your Airbud themed trivia soon. <laughs> thank you, Colin. I'll at least throw some Airbud trivia questions your way. I'll remember. I won't remember, but I'm going to write it down. Can't promise you an entire night, but we can get you some Airbud questions. All right, everybody's in. Yeah, some West Coast love here. 21st Amendment. Somebody said, thank you, 21st Amendment Brewing. They make some delicious beer uh, and some sours and some ghosts. <laughs> oh, Matt, that's cute. Great Pumpkin is your version of Spooky. I like that. Do you remember when the joke was, are you going to do Christmas in July? Yeah. Remember when we were, oh yeah, we'll do trivia maybe in July. Here we are. Yeah. September, still doing trivia for y'all. Glad you guys are still here. All right. Good job. 21st. Number 24, some more Greek mythology. In Greek mythology, who was the messenger of the gods? Greek mythology, who was the messenger of the gods? Somebody who said, Becky, uh, somebody's been reading Percy Jackson. This person comes up quite a bit. And if you've seen the movie. What did you get? I got a rock. Yes, Jess. Oh, I love the Great Pumpkin. I got a rock. Scariest one on October 16th because I'll be in the land of shitty Wi-Fi. Northern Wisconsin. All right, everybody's in. Ooh, I said Greek mythology. I've had a quick to, quite a bit to drink, so I will accept Roman name here. So the correct answer, as it's read in Greek mythology, this is Hermes. But if you gave me Mercury, I accepted it tonight. I'm feeling really generous. Uh, Mercury was fine. That is the Roman counterpart of Hermes. Matt Whalen thought it was Hermes, second guessed, and wrote poopy instead. Yeah, that's about how I answer on tests. Good job. Uh, one more, and then we'll look at the standings final time. After losing 18 times, what actress finally won a Daytime Emmy Award in 1999 for her role as Erica Kane?
Somebody said uh, Disney plus Percy Jackson. Rick Rorden said uh, his optimistic guess is it will take two years uh, to make it. And that was in July. Yeah, so we're not looking at that TV show until at least 2022. That's optimistic. Um, but I'm here for it. I would love it. Uh, as long as it is still starring Alexandra Daddario. Just like the movies. All right, everybody's in, but my screen's frozen, so let's hang tight for one second. Yeah, yeah, here's Taco. All right, lots of ways to spell this. Uh, this was big news when it happened, especially if, like me, uh, you had family members, my grandma and my mother, both watch daytime soaps every single day. Uh, and the correct answer is Susan Lucci. Susan Lucci. You were almost named Erica because of all my children, Jess. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I got .01 taco books. Jen, thank you. <laughs> I got a cat in this scent uh all right let's take a look at the standings this number two shall pass cookies and cream i love that name but i hate that name because every time i see it i want ice cream uh in second negative taco bucks in third but you are not looking at negative taco bucks right now you are looking at taco bucks because you're in third place if you can stay there through the end um but again everybody keep it fair keep it honest no googling no searching no cheating uh you know, not big things on the line but your pride your honor is on the line and that's what really matters. Imagine being named Luke because of General Hospital oh and not God. Star Wars. I would just, just lie. yeah, mom, no, just lie to me. Tell me you love Star Wars. <laughs> Jesus. Crystal was named Crystal because of Dynasty. Nice. Dude, was your name from anything? No. Gina Davis? Well, my mom was watching a Gina Davis movie. Oh, really? So I was supposed to be Jamie Lynn. Oh. Spears. Like Spears, um, yeah. And then she was just like, oh, that's a nice name. So I wasn't named after her, per se. But it was inspired by. If you were named Luke and your mom was just consistently setting you up with girls named Laura, Brad said. <laughs> Luke and Laura. Your wedding would be the most viewed thing ever, Brad. A million people would watch your wedding. Oh, I never realized how close to that Luke and Lorelai is. Luke and Lorelai, yeah. All right. Also a very popular one. Oh, God, that was, yeah. Uh, question number 26. Which MLB pitcher holds the record for the most losses in his career? Which MLB pitcher holds the record for having the most losses in his career? Everybody's in. <laughs> we got two guesses this time for Airbud. Not just one person, but two people wrote Airbud. Uh, was there an Airbud baseball movie? I'm not sure. Um, but the correct answer. This is one of those. This is one of those facts that people like to use for motivational speeches. This is something that Coach Taylor would probably say. You know what? Cy Young had the most losses in his career, but he also holds the record for the most wins. He just played the most. He has the most losses, but he also, this is true, he also has the most wins. Most wins and most losses. Whoever puts Snoopy spelled poopy wrong. <laughs> Uh, question 27. In internet terminology, which we don't like the internet tonight, what does FTP stand for? We're talking about the internet. What does FTP stand for? Ooh, sassy Lindsay. Sassy at somebody else other than me. That's nice. Primarily because pitchers used to play every day and pitch for pretty much the whole game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris, I'm with you. It makes sense for sure.
Yeah, Brent's my dude. All right, everybody's in. That's pretty close. Uh, failure to produce. Somebody said, I work with computers, I should know. Somebody still went with Airbud. Free train protocol, F the police. That's good for the people. Forward thinking, probably. It's file transfer protocol. File transfer protocol. It's a good job. 24 of you got that right. Number 28, what British city welcomes tourists at John Lennon Airport with the slogan, above us, only sky? What city would you be flying into if you landed at John Lennon Airport? Oh, Johnny boy. Next week, Bobby K is doing all gangster rap music bingo. All right, everybody's in, and most of you got this. The city is Liverpool, the Liverpudlians, the Beatles themselves, Liverpudlians, Liverpool. All right, good job. Number 29, founded by Spanish colonists back in 1610. What city is the oldest state capital in the United States. What is the oldest state capital? So what city that is now a state capital is the oldest city in the United States that is now a state capital? If you got this, good job. City's been around a long time. Uh, it's not Tallahassee, that's a really good guess. It's not Sacramento, Dover, Jamestown, St. Augustine, Boston, Tallahassee. It is Santa Fe. Santa Fe. Uh, we enjoyed our time in the city, but like Albuquerque better. I, uh, I really want to go to the Southwest. That's I would really like to go and just tour around out there. All right, question 30. What small U.S. territory's official motto is, quote, where America's day begins? What small U.S. territory's official motto is where America's day begins? Whenever I see the city Albuquerque, I just think of the Weird Al song. If you can hear Albuquerque and not think of Weird Al singing Albuquerque, power to you. Uh, correct answer here is Guam. Guam, because it's, its proximity is very close to the international date line. So this is where America's day begins. All right. Here we go, one final question, number 31. With speeds of up to 200 miles per hour, what is the fastest racket sport in the world? Speeds of up to 200 miles an hour, what is the fastest sport that uses a racket in the world?
everybody is in. Let's take a look. Lots of guesses. Lots of guesses. So the correct answer here, uh, we have badminton, ping pong, tennis, squash, high lie, racquetball, high lie, paddle ball. The correct answer is badminton. Badminton. Uh, that is the correct answer. This is the fastest moving racket sport. The fastest sport that involves a ball is high lie, uh, up to 188 miles per hour with that ball. Um, the fastest racket sport is badminton with the shuttlecock coming off the racket at 200 miles per hour. Yeah, Chris, it can. It can when it comes off the racket, yes. It does not sustain 200 miles per hour because of the design. Uh, the way that it's feathered out, uh, it slows itself down unlike a ball, uh, which is meant to make the, the air go around. Yeah, check it out sometime. Badminton's crazy. Um, those, they, they come off the racket at 200 miles per hour. <laughs> Tennis ball served into my eye in high school felt like 200 miles per hour. Uh. Yeah, so I, I'm looking into it now, too. You guys are bringing it up. The shuttlecock is the fastest moving object in sports. Uh, it, it's been clocked at the fastest thing that moves in sports, which is just insane. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought it, uh, but when I started looking into this, I thought that was fun. Uh, but 12 of you got it right, so good job. Uh, all right, everybody's in, everybody's in, everybody got their answer in. So thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for dealing with any hiccups that you've had here with YouTube. I do apologize. Um, we'll be back on Friday with Harry Potter trivia at seven o'clock. If you're interested, you can purchase a ticket. That's a ticketed event. Uh, it's a fundraiser for Larry Spaeth uh, for the McHenry County Board. So check that out on Facebook. But we'll also be back Friday at nine o'clock with uh, as you already know, a breakfast cereal mascot round. So you can schedule or you can study for that because we were supposed to have it tonight. Uh, that'll happen on Friday, uh, as well as a lot of other questions that were supposed to happen tonight. But thank you all for being here. Please do join us on Friday, Saturday, and then all week next week. We have a lot of great events lined up. And then in October, like I told you, we'll do all of our regular events plus those theme trivia nights around Halloween. I am ready to get in the effing spirit this week this month, this year. We gotta do something. <laughs> so let's have some fun. All right, here we go. Final standings. If you're in first, second, or third, do me a favor. Just pop your loyalty number in the chat so that I know who you are. First, second, or third. If you see your team name in first, second, or third here in just a second, just pop your loyalty number in the chat so that I can just give your points to you right away. Uh, otherwise, I can look them up just makes my life a little bit harder so help me out here we go in first second and third place as well as all the other standings oh taco is up. close up <laughs> in first this number two shall pass in second cookies and cream in third stay sexy and don't get murdered if you are one of those three teams please let me know who you are give me your loyalty number in the chat if not i'll look it up but it would help me out if you did Chris, I just saw your comment on the Nathan's hot dog eating contest. There's a good documentary, a 30 for 30 on Kobayashi. Uh, you should watch it if you haven't. It's, yeah, it's disgusting, but it's good. Uh, first place, Mick Fly. What's up? Uh, Jess, you both had a day. This was a bright spot. I'm so glad that we can do that for you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, you guys were my bright spot on Monday, all of you. I had a pretty day, day, uh, and it was nice to host for y'all. So thanks for being here. I appreciate that we can do it for you. Uh, wasn't he essentially blacklisted? Yeah, there's a whole story behind it, and you can see it. Uh, where is the loyalty number? We are number three. Resident Buffy, have you signed up for the loyalty program? If you've signed up for the loyalty program, uh, you will already have a loyalty number. If not, uh, we'll figure. all right, yeah, you want to sign up for the loyalty program? Yeah, Gina will put the link here in the description. 
Uh, cookies and cream, I know I can get that number. First place, 0873. All right, that's it for tonight. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. We'll be back on Friday and Saturday. Uh, until then, be safe, take care of each other, wash your hands, wear your masks, and see you soon.